Guys, today we are going to be talking about present tense verbs and why they are so important. So review, what is a verb? We've talked about nouns, we've talked about pronouns and adjectives and adverbs, but I want you to ask yourself, what is a verb? Remind yourself. Let me help you if you don't remember. A verb is going to be anything or a word that describes an action or a state of being. I always remember it as a verb. It's what you do. It's an action, okay? I think, I painted, I studied, I will study, I looked, I sing, I jumped, I swam, okay? These are all things that you are doing. So, today we're going to be talking about verb tense. We want to know what verb tense is. This is actually anything that's going to, um, this is how we write verbs, and it's actually going to tell us when the action will take place or is taking place or has taken place. So, we're really going to be looking at past, present, and future tense. So, for example, we have the word run, okay? If it happened in the past, I would say I ran. If it's happening right now, I would say I run or I am running. That's present tense. Or if it's going to happen tomorrow or in the future, um, I would say I will run. Okay. It's really important as a writer to keep our tenses the same because we want our readers to understand um, the order in which things take place. Okay. Um, our readers and as writers, we have to pay attention to that sequence of events and verbs help us keep our events in order. Okay. And everything clear. So, we're going to look at two sentences now, and I want you to notice on the first one how confusing it is. And then I'm going to fix it in the second one. Um, and what I'm doing here is I'm actually changing the verb tense to make sure all of the tenses in one sentence are the same. So, this first sentence. I will play yesterday before I go to the supermarket to got milk. Did you just ask yourself, uh, what did she say? I hope you did, because that makes no sense. But if I change my verbs so that they are all, um, they are all past tense, I would say, I played yesterday before I went to the supermarket to get milk. So all of my tenses match, and so my sentences actually, my sentence makes sense. Before we jump into present tense verbs, we do need to review pronouns. Remember, that is anything that um, replaces a noun. So instead of saying my teacher or Mrs. Nugent gave me homework, you could say she gave me homework, okay? Pronouns are actually going to determine which present tense verb that we need to use, and I'll explain that in a little bit. But just remember pronouns. Um, we also need to look at singular and plural pronouns. Our singular pronouns are going to be things like I, you, he, she, it. They refer to one person or one thing. Or my plural pronouns are going to refer to a group, okay, of some sort. We, you all, or they, okay? So when we have a present tense verb, that is something that is happening now. It is happening right that moment, okay? To form that present tense verb, you um, add an S or an ES on most verbs. And I'm going to explain that. So look at this sentence. He hits the ball. So our verb there is hit. Um, since it's a singular, he is just one person, I'm just going to add an S. There are some times where you're going to add an ES, and I will go over those rules in just a moment. Okay. If the subject, though, is a pronoun like I or you, you don't add the S. You would say, I hit the ball. So it all depends on what your pronoun is. Um, if it is I or you, it is different and you don't add anything. But if it's a singular verb, like he, she, um, then you would just add an S or an ES. So how do I know whether to add S or ES, okay? Well, here is a nice little chart that will help us. So most verbs, you're just going to add S. So here we have live. If we want to um, add an at, or if we want to make that a present tense of verb, we would just put an S there, okay? And that would happen at like, um, she lives at 6565 Summit Road, or she sits at her desk. She um, is singular, so you just add that S there, okay? But if you have a consonant plus a Y at the end of a word, so look at the word try right there. It ends in R, which is a consonant, and then Y. You're actually going to drop the Y and change it to I-E-S. I know, all these crazy English rules that we have, right? Or if we have carry, like I carry my book bag, I would put, I would drop the Y and add an I-E-S. However, some words end that end in S, sorry, all words that end in S, Z, C, H, or X, you're going to add ES. So buzz, the bee buzzes, 
you aren't just going to put an S on the end of buzz. You're actually going to put an ES or Mrs. Nugent fixes my locker. I would add an ES since the word ends in X. Okay. If you're unsure, guys, use your resources. Okay. Um, you can Google it. You can ask a teacher. All right. There are a couple exceptions because the English language is very confusing. We always have exceptions. So we have the word go. We just add an ES there. Most of the time when, it, or, um, when a word ends in O, we're just going to add an S, except with go or do. Okay. We're going to add an ES to those. All right. Just some of our silly rules that we have. All right. Present tense when we have plural pronouns like we or they, okay? You are not going to add anything. You're just going to leave the verb how it is. So um, they ran. Uh, they run the they run the uh, the lap around the school. Let's just say, you just leave it as run. You don't have to add an s or an es. Okay, so pay attention to your plural um, pronouns. Um, one tip I will always give you is say the sentence out loud. Does it sound right? Then you're probably right, guys. You guys are experts in the English language. Most of you say it out loud. See if it makes sense, or if you see, if it doesn't sound right then think about what you could do to the verb to change it, okay? So let's practice a few of these, all right? So our verb here is talk. We want to make sure that we um, make sure that our sentence makes sense here and we want it to be in present tense, so it's happening now. She talk on her cell phone every day, that doesn't make sense. But if I say she talks on her cell phone every day, it would make sense, okay? She is a singular pronoun. All right, which one of these is present tense? So look and think to yourself, which one of these is happening right now? The students did their homework in the afternoon or the students do their homework in the afternoon? Which one is happening right now? That's right. We look at the word do and we think, okay, do is present tense. Did is past tense. That happened um, the day before, the day before that. It happened in the past. All right. So a couple more of these. My brother and I blank loudly. We're trying to put speak. My brother and I speak loudly. Does that work? Sounds right to me. Which one of these is present tense? She looks very pretty in that dress or she will look very pretty in that dress. If you said the first one, you would be correct. The second one will happen in the future while we're looking for present tense that's happening now, right? Again, guys, my biggest um, advice to you is say the sentence out loud. Make sure it makes sense. We're looking for present tense verbs so they are happening right now, okay? This, um, when you practice this, make sure they are in present tense. 